Hello, welcome to the walkthrough of the student dashboard along with the assignment. To begin with, when you click on a link to register or access your course materials, you should be sent to this page. This is your student course dashboard page. And when you get there, you'll see the assignment tab, which we'll click on now. And from the assignment tab, you'll see all of your due dates. And they turn red when they're past due or close to the due date. You can start from here, start the assignment or start reading. You also have the table of contents. And now you can access anywhere in the textbook. The same thing, you can come here and start your knowledge check or go to your reading and read and move around. You'll see your chapter quiz and the critical thinking checks as well from here. And you can go anywhere around the textbook. If it is grayed out, you can hover over it and you can still access anything. So if a teacher is not teaching a particular chapter or sections, you still have access to that by going to the table of contents and hovering over a particular unassigned section or chapter. Now, if we move to flashcards, these are per chapter. And you can toggle between definition and term. Once you master it, you can click on got it. And then it will lessen the number of flashcards that you have to go and master. Once we you complete your work, um, your assignments are going to move from the assignment area here to the completed work. And you can actually come back here and retake things. You can go revisit anything you want. This is where you would come to study from if you'd like. Now, lastly, we have the offline reading. This is one chapter at a time, up to five days one device and it's easy as just click it on the chapter it's now going to download your offline reading there is no interactive items in here assignments it's just reading we go back to the the vantage dashboard we're gonna select the chapter and then we can go to the next chapter so that's how quick and easy it is. And here's chapter two. That was our offline reading. Now we also, the book acts as a bookmark. If we click on here to the cover the textbook, it's going to go to where you, you left off. So whether it is in the middle of an assignment or on a reading, that's where it's going to take you back to. And we're going to go and show you how to access and utilize your assignment. So here's a poll question. You can do this in class. You can do this um, at, on your own. And all you do is submit. And then once you get your poll result, you can actually see your classes, everybody that has participated in the survey for your class. And if you want to, you can toggle to everybody who is using the textbook and who responded to that poll and see their results. You just go to the next section and then you'll see your assignments here. And then you can click on your link in your LMS or if you're reading, you can you get to come across your assignments. So if I'm reading, I'm going to see my data activity. I can click on do the activity. And then I see when my due date is, how many questions, how many points it's for, and whether it's for a grade or not. And then also how many attempts I am allowed. I'm going to click on get started. And that's now you just go and answer your questions and click submit for each of your questions that they have. To get out of the assignment, you just click exit activity and it's going to take you back to that section in the textbook. And then we're going to go click on the knowledge check. And the same thing, you're just going to click on let's get started. It does the same thing. They, all of your assignments will, will tell you the date that it's due, how many questions, if it's graded for grade or completion, and then how many attempts you have. I'm going to click on get started. And the same thing, you're going to answer the question, hit submit you to answer your question and then hit submit. And that's basically how they all are. You can also see a hint if your teacher allows. I'm going to go ahead and so I hit submit. And so now it went to my next question. I can go ahead and I got instant remediation because this one was set for completion. So I'm going to go ahead and exit out of this. And then just to let you know, if you wanted to skip this, you can go into the next section by clicking on the tab to the right. All right, now we have a self-assessment. So we're gonna scroll down as we're reading. And then here's my self-assessment. I'm gonna click on do the activity, same thing. It tells me my due date, it's graded for completion or for a grade, and then how many attempts I have. I'm gonna click on get started. Now for the self-assessments, we read and then select, come in here and answer your questions. And then 
you can share your results with your instructor and then submit it. We can exit out of here, go on to the next part of our textbook. I'm going to skip this knowledge check. Now we have a video activity. Once again, we have our due date and then we do our activity and then we're, it's, we're going to see our due date, how many questions, whether it's for grade or not. So whether it's for grade or completion and then how many attempts. We click on get started. We're going to go ahead and watch our video. Now, what you also have a transcript here, and then you can also do closed caption. So here's the transcript. There's a closed caption here if you wanted to see it as well. And now at the end of our video, we have our set of questions that we'll answer. And this is one of the three. So I'm going to go ahead and just go through these. And then this tells you if you get it wrong, what the response is. So if you get something wrong, it's going to tell you where to go find it or some positive information on where or what you miss. And here's, if you get it right, correct. We can continue. So now it's going to tell me how many questions I got right. I can retake it if, if my teacher permits. I have unlimited attempts, so I can retake it and get a better score. I can also exit the activity if I didn't want to go ahead and retake it now. Thank you so much for joining me on this quick tutorial on the student dashboard and various assignments.